I walk up to him, and I just slam a box in front of him. <laughs> All right. Wow. All right. Um. A box. Yeah. Uh, a box of things. There is suddenly <laughs> appearing out of nowhere at your right side. There is a small figure that who you didn't know this before, and this figure just slams a box right in front of you. Can I help, Can I help you? Some hag in the bazaar wants me to deliver this. Swear to God, it's pick at this, pick at that, go do everything. Are you who it's supposed to be for? What's in the box? I don't know, lizard penis. Man, not. <laughs> You're the wrong person. Sorry, man. <laughs> He's a co so is I'm a cobalt. Are, are you hooded oh. or unhooded? I'm hooded. I'm I'm in, I'm in public. I'm hooded. Right. Can, I, can I tell you the cobalt? Um, are you trying to? Does it cover everything, or does your no? Definitely show? not. All right. Um, up close at this point, you can see he is a co What color are you? By any chance. Black. You black scales. Black. Okay, black scales. There is this black scaled cobalt that just slams this box in front of you. So get away from me. <laughs> I'm eating. No and, respect. And you guys, everybody that rolled higher probably than the 10 at this point sees this little, you know, heard this, well, everybody at this point, heard, besides probably Richard. Heard the slam, <laughs> and then there's this little there's this little cobalt, this little black cobalt, and this bronze dragon board bicker for a moment, and and then you you see the the cobalt just like this and that and this and that. Um, Rodin, you. What are you all looking at? <laughs> Ever see two dragon boards argue? <laughs> uh, Rodin, you witness all this, especially after the slam of the box. Um, do you do anything? I very... Um, <clears throat> I kind of walk over to the bar and go, Hi, hi, my lady. Interesting events happening here today. Sheila um, leans over to the bar and it's like, it's usually not this busy, not at two in, two in the afternoon, that's for sure. <sighs> what can I help you with? Oh, my lady. Oh, would you perchance have uh, don't, anything? Don't, 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 don't call me my lady. My husband only calls me that if he wants something. Ah, uh, no worries. Oh, I was looking to see if you had, uh, for something to eat. I uh, see you have the pork special. We it do. is very tasty. Um, we do. Uh, she, 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 she glances off in Quelloth's direction. And I, I look at the cop at Calhoun. Um, <laughs> after your previous customers, are there, is there is there any left? Left? What left? Calhoun took like five orders and oh and yes yes of course to... we 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 there are many people with ravenous appetites. We stock just in case. But yes, we do have. We can. We have pork tenderloin on the menu. We have a stew in case you don't want pork. We have a chocolate cake if you wish to partake in dessert afterwards. Uh, I would like some pork tenderloin, uh, some cornbread, a little beans, a side of vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of Slightly veggies? Slightly champagne. <laughs> what kind of veggies are you looking for, hon? Uh, carrots. All right. And a glass of wine. <laughs> Something, something white. All right. Yeah. On. One second. Uh, she scribbles this down very quickly. Go, puts her, sticks her hand in the small window behind her. Order up. And we have a Chardonnay. Um, what uh, year? Two thousand. You want the good stuff or you want the eh stuff? I prefer the good stuff. Two thousand fifteen. You don't have a fourteen, do you? No, that, unfortunately, that really unfortunately, don't. If you if you want something that luxurious, uh, I would say head over to around the vault of knowledge. Uh, they could probably set you up there, but we only have a two thousand fifteen shard, eh, aged I'll in take, oak, I think. I, I'll I'm take more the shard. All right. Um, for all of that, 
That will be uh, 15 silver pieces, if you please. I give her 17. Thank you very much, sir. And she goes and she, she, uh, she gets you the glass of wine. And it's at this moment that the older woman, uh, Ryan, uh, with, the, with the dog and the, the, um, the, the tattoo, um, takes notice at the dragonborn and kobold that are at the far end of the room. And she, you know, she, her gaze just lingers on the both of you while you have your small argument. And I want to see if Quoth and Pickett actually need this. Perception? Yes. Perception from both of you, please. No, I do not. No, you do not. <laughs> you, this is a really good pork <laughs> tenderloin. Like, this is one of the best tenderloins you've ever it's, had. It's more like that the cobalt next to me is oh, really? right? so, I it. think this is, this is a roll of so, so, I have 60 foot dark vision and I'm a, a ship's uh, lookout, so I'm pretty sure I notice everything. Oh yeah, so you do <laughs> notice this woman, her eyes lingering on the both of you for longer than it should. Um, she looks like she's not sizing you up, but she's looking like she's trying to look for details or anything, actually. Um, and at that moment, she stands up and she walks over to where you two are and she she says excuse me may i sit here please she points to a seat close by to you quelloth and nearby i i i i, I, I nod thank you I'm looking for basilisk parts um not per somebody owes me 20 silver uh well, if you're interested in money, I may be able to pay you more than 20 silver. You are a dragonborn um, of the Platinum Covenant, are you not? Mm hmm. Do I hear him say basilisk parts? Uh, no, I'm not. Okay. But you are, you are, you are dragon kin. Um, that, that is of interest of t to me, and that may help me. Um, um, yeah, Sean, you can you can roll. To, you probably heard it. He's he's not making. He's not trying to mask at all that he has Bastille. I want to find the person who owes me twenty silver. Yeah, you you hear it with no problem. You hear. Yeah, I have these basculus parts, and I want to be paid. I, I go. I wave over to. The, I wave over to the guy. Uh, the pick, pick it. There is a very nice, well-to-do gentleman at the bar that waves you over as soon as you say basculus parts. I, I am up. <coughs> Spit a little toward the platoon and the, it's it, it burns a hole in the bottom of the platoon. And then walk over toward it. Okay. Um, I'm assuming there's a platoon, right? Are we in, are we in the Wild West? Um, it, it, it just... We need a spit bucket? Yeah, yeah. There's, a, uh, there's a couple spit buckets uh, around the area. You go, and it goes, um, and then it hisses. Yes, and there's this hissing sound. Sheila kind of, Sheila looks up at you and shakes her head. <sighs> Looks like I gotta replace another one. Damn acidic dragon bone and kobolds from my pots, and she she goes into the back. Um, at this point, Pickett and Rowe are there. Um, uh, Calhoun is drumming away, and qual she the woman. I tell I, mm -hmm. I tell the old lady I'll be right back as I head over to to. The man who I don't know his name yet. Okay. Is your chair squeaking, Brandon? It has been for an hour. Uh huh. Want to get the kitchen chair? No, it's all right. Just. There's bothering me. It's no problem. Let me know. Okay. Um. So yeah, you you go over to Row. He's um the one of the many one of the few waiters gives him his plate of tenderloin with some cornbread and some vegetables and there is a nice uh, buttery chardonnay accompanying the meal. 
and Pickett walks over and you know with this box which looks you know it's it's a little big uh, for you, but you know you you know you're you're strong enough. You you just you set upon the bar, and there's this well-to-do, very well-dressed, uh, elven gentleman uh, eating, and yeah. So you guys. I heard your this box was for twenty. You need your twenty-five silver for your delivery. Yeah. The woman in the bazaar said I should find the person here. You him. I take out 25 silver. I drop it in the count. I, I put it in my hand out. If you put your hand out to take the silver, give me the silver. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All and right. It was much faster service than I expected. Very fast service. And cheaper. <laughs> um, I don't know how much the going rate is. I'm just a little cobalt. Yeah. Um, Save five gold. <laughs> what was it supposed to be five gold? Uh, oh well. I just said twenty-five because whatever. No, maybe she she was only paying you that much, and I was getting ripped off. After well, I, the the implication was she sent me there, but whatever. Okay. Um, I opened the box. Are they processed strings or are they just bassless parts? It's mostly bassless parts. There are, is some gut in there. Um, probably enough to make the nine strings that you wish. However, they would have to be cured and tempered. I open the box and like. And it smells pretty bad. I Shut mean, the there box. is some there is some preservative that's in the box that smells slightly of formaldehyde. Um, and it just hits your face like a wall when and wow. the, the 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 small like the people around you can just smell this awful the box. Oh. some of us are trying to eat why <laughs> <laughs> some of you should be drumming said Sheila Sheila says from the bar i got two hands <laughs> um i tie the box shut okay um the the woman at the table that is next to you, Quoth, says, uh, my name is uh, Jill, and I have a few questions for you and perhaps the, 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 the small one that just left our table. Um, oh, I'm back now. Okay. Um, would you say you are well-versed in drag in lore that is pertaining to dragons? I look at her, I, I raise an eyebrow if I have one. Uh, you have like a ridge that acts like an eyebrow. But you raise that, yes. I suppose. Why? Um, I am very, very interested in... So, I inherited a piece of land in the fields not too long ago. And uh, I inherited it from my grandparents who had, well, my parents who had passed away. I hadn't been home in quite some time. And there is a creature that I have failed to track. I've gotten glimpses that seems very dragon-like. I've brought my concerns to the steel Aegis. Um, for, to see what the creature could possibly be. And when I tell them of my description, they have no knowledge of any dragon kin of that kind. And I have had to go elsewhere for my search. And I am maybe looking for people to deal with this problem. I Is there a problem? He, What's it look like? It is a four-legged creature uh, with spikes on its back very lizard like but the only problem is that when i tried to get very close to him one night he was going after one of the cattle i had on the land he had he he it, it was strange he, he had a he breathed some kind of uh, energy i it wasn't fire, and he, his head was very, very, very dragon-like. It was. It's. It's nothing like. I have not encountered something like this in my travels. 
I. You're telling me something that's no different than as if a coyote killed one of your deer. So I don't, I don't understand what we need me for. What I need is I need somebody to find it before it does a great. I don't work for animal enough. control. Animal control, go down to the city hall. I don't. I serve higher purposes than this. You serve higher purposes than this. So the higher purposes. Has the animal committed an evil act? Have you been attacked by the creature? Have you? Has it stolen from you? Has it hurt you? It has. It, it has. I have asked the other farmers in the area, and it has slain cattle. It has slain um, other things. Um, I heard that a chapter... As coyotes do. Well, cattle, but you know. So, you would not be interested in freeing a local menace that has been terrorizing some farmers that the steel agus could not be bothered to deal with currently. Well, it sounds like they're terrorizing the cattle. Yes, and cattle is the livelihood of farmers. Yeah. Um, I am willing to pay um, 200... I'm not interested in money. She turns oh, to the, she turns to, to Cobalt. I'll take his share. Uh, I am interested in anybody. Um, I will, I will pay two hundred gold pieces per person, and they get to keep the creature if they catch the creature, kill the creature. I do I do not care. I just want it out of the area. It is terrorizing my neighbors. It is terrorizing my animals, and I cannot make heads or tails of what it is. And like I said, it seems dragon-like because of the way it moves. Um, I, you know, I grew I grew up in the Platinum Bastion um, and left when I was in my mid forties. And so I was I am first in some dragon lore, but not enough dragon lore. Probably like a seasoned veteran like yourself, or you know, you probably. Let me make a counter proposal. All right. You hire me to hire. Instead of paying 200 gold pieces, you pay the 100 gold pieces and donate the other 100 for each per person to a charity of my choosing. Um, currently, I'm only talking to you two. I think you're going to need more than the two of you to take on this creature. It is quite large. And from what I've seen it can do as it was running away, it did almost knock over a large tree um, when I was able to scare it away but i wasn't able to it keeps on coming back over and over again did it have wings it did not have wings that was the strange part um at this point she she takes out uh what looks like a orange reddish scale this was left by the animal and she puts it on the table um it is a patch of scale um can I do insight? You can do insight. Are you trying to insight on the woman or... On the scale. You, that I would be more of an investigation. Investigation. All right. <laughs> um, the advantage because I'm a dragon lord? <laughs> you no. pick it. You could also roll investigation. I can't roll tonight. If you wish on this scale. I was trying to think, would it, is there... Like, would that be... I guess there's no, like, just... Knowledge I mean, anything nature. anymore? There's knowledge nature. There's knowledge arcana. There's knowledge history. I guess um, it would be knowledge nature. In this case, it would probably be knowledge arcana. The, it, it's all int for me, so arcana. Yeah. Uh, well, same role then for me. Um, at this point, um, I I might know nineteen. All right. Um, the scale, the so you put your hand on the scale, and you you remember, in you know, sailor stories, um, that the scale definitely sounds it seems more dragon-like than a snake or a basculus. You know what snake skin? You know what basculus hide feels like? This definitely feels like a dragon's hide. It feels like. What a, color is it? It is a orange reddish color. It's chromatic colored. It is not a. Metallic. It is not metallic. It is chromatic <laughs> in nature. Yes. Um, so it could very well be a dragon. Um, it, but it doesn't match the shade of red dragons. There are very different variation of dragon kin that this could have come from. Um, but nothing quite really what you said it, it looks it sounds like it could be a variation of maybe wyvern 
um, possibly, mm. but it didn't have wings. Um, there are some very. And it was four legged. It, it was it was a quadruped, so yes, it was four legged. If your suspicion is correct, little one, you're, you're, you're short, right, Chris? I, yeah, I'm thirty uh, pounds and three and a half feet tall. Then it does, probably does warrant an investigation. Like I said, you probably would want to find others to assist you. Um, she 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 looks over to the drumming man. No. <laughs> <laughs> the Do drumming. I hear any of this? Um, row perception. Um, she it is a, it is an emptyish tavern, so her voice may care. Yeah, you you hear this. Um, you hear uh bits of the conversation. Dragon, gold, uh, terrorizing farmers, ter cattle. Her voice carries. She's not shouting, but she's talking in a normal voice and in a partially. Well, there is drumming, so you hear her after. Probably some soft parts of the the drumming. Um, you hear bits of this conversation. Uh, she's like, I really don't think you should take on this by by your two selves. I do not think I, I am somewhat of an um, accomplished tracker ranger, and what, when I tried to shoot at it, uh, the, the 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 my arrows. I it was only only to glance its flesh. It was the tree that really took this piece of skin. Um, pick it. Oh, we have a tree come with us then, <laughs> or something. <laughs> we'll just get a bunch of tree ants. <laughs> or maybe something built like a tree, like maybe that guy over there. She points to the the drumming shit brick house man who is drumming with one hand and eating. We need to slay this thing, not put on a show for it. <laughs> Eating a eating pork tenderloin in the other. Do I hear any? Actually, I want to say, do I hear anything? You you can also roll. Did you roll perception check? Not for that. Okay, roll perception check, please. Oh. Mm, you hear a dragon, and then you're not sure where the other conversation. But you do see her put a piece of what looks like to be a patch of skin. On the table, it, the, the skin, by the way, it's about hand sized. And Pickett, you mean the scale? Yeah, the scale. Well, the scales, the patch of scale. Um, pick it when you do um, run your hand on the other side of it, on the fleshy side. There is tiny bits of blood, and you know you can you know rub your fingers with the consistency. It it does follow some. It looks like dragon-ish blood. It's there's a little burning sensation with the what are still wet parts of the dragons uh, of the dragon scale. So it can be it, it, it disappeared dragon. The creature does appear to be dragon in nature, um, not particularly probably not a dragon itself, but probably a uh, a common ancestor of a true dragon. Um, actually. I will also give the role to uh, King Kong. He's drumming, eating. You probably always already roll with disadvantage because you are drumming and eating at the same time. You hear word dragon in the conversation as well. But Rhiannon, your character, does hear most of the conversation. All right. So I walk over and... Uh, insert itself into the conversation and say all right you I heard that you were looking for help and i want to know more information all right you see this you know broad um blondish man walk up to you and um the the woman uh julie uh Jill, sorry, Jill, not Juliana. Jill gives you a once look over, uh, an appreciative look over. And she's like, oh, you are, and how are you, how would you be able to assist us? Uh, there is a perhaps a dragon kin that is terrorizing the local farmstead. Um, what is your combat expertise? Oh, well, I've got a few different... Uh healing spells up my sleeve. So ah, you are a cleric. What are you a cleric of? If, if, who, who, is your, who is your deity, if I may ask? Is, is it, oh, is someone it, you probably have never heard of. I'm sure. Oh. 
I see. Okay. Um, well, perhaps you will be... I'm sorry, I'm Rhiannon. Okay. Uh, Rhiannon, please row persuasion. Or deception. Or de No, actually deception. Please row deception. Oh. <laughs> um... Holy That's not even a natural twenty. No, she, <laughs> you, 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 you probably uh, she. Uh, Rihanna, do you carry your god symbol on your an emblem on your person by any chance, or like an amulet, or do you have his insignia anywhere? Uh, it's hidden away. Okay, um, you do not see any insignias on this person. Um, just... okay, try me. We have to have heard of your god. <sighs> well. I'm a man of 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 of, of, of the gods myself. Perhaps I've heard of your of your deity. Um, you could you could probably spit out a name since it's your deception. Um, um Thulu. Uh, you have you could roll religion, Brandon, if you wish, to see if you've ever heard of, um. There are warlocks who make packs with old demented gods. Um, this sounds like it could be one of them, but you're not quite sure. Um, something with lots of tentacles in the face, but not quite an illithid. 